To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. The devil goes, oh no, leave him alone. Man, he's my favorite. Conversely, when the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. I'll say it again. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. Now, I've been blessed to make hundreds of millions of dollars in my life. I can't take it with me, mm. and neither can you. So it's not how much you have, it's what you do with what you have. And we all have different gifts. Some money, some love, some patience, some the ability to touch people. But we all have it. Use it. Share it. That's what counts. Not what you're driving, not what you're flying in, not what kind of house you bought your mama, but buy your mama house. One thing I'm the most happy about in terms of my career is the fact that I got there with the grace of God, first of all, but short of that, I got there just by working hard. Not partying with the right people, not compromising myself in any way or cutting any kind of deals, just by working hard, just by plugging along, sawing wood as I like to call it. I'm a 20-year overnight sensation. Well, you know, you're always affected by opinion, but the, the, the more opinions there are of you, the less I look at them, because I just can't live my life based upon what other people think about me. So I can't concern myself too much with what other people think. You know, it's just not healthy. I, I don't think I'll con I could continue to do what I do if I was constantly worrying about what somebody thought about it. Dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. Goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. I pray that you all put your shoes way under the bed that night so that you gotta get on your knees in the morning. Anything you want good, you can have. So claim it, work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back, pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.